Welcome to BK Academy of Chess. This is the fifth installment of the Nimzo Indian Defense video series. The first four videos were devoted to the popular Rubenstein system, where on move 4 white plays the e3. If you have not viewed them, I advise you to at least review the first video to understand the basic concepts of the Nimzo Indian Defense. In this video you will learn how to play with N against the classical variation of the Nimzo Indian Defense, also known as Capablanca variation where on move 4 white plays queen c2. Remember, if the video is moving too fast, do not hesitate to pause, rewind, or just sit back let the video run and view it again. So without further ado, let's get started. Even though this variation was eventually superseded by the Rubenstein system, it was revived in the 1990s and is now just as popular. Following general chess opening guidelines, white intends to keep his pawn structure intact, while keeping both bishops on the board. However, white deviates from these guidelines before completing his development by moving a piece twice, the queen. As a result, white's kingside development is slow. For black to exploit his lead in development, even though white possesses the bishop pair, it is usually advisable to rip open the game. So how should black play? Pause the video and think about this. Okay. The most popular responses are, castle king side, c5, d5, knight c6, and d6, intending knight b. d7 and e5, is rare but also playable. Now, let's take a look at each option. Nowadays, the main line of the classical variation runs for castle king side, a3, bishop takes c3, queen takes c3, b6, bishop g5. For the gambatier, on move 6 black can play b5. After bishop g5, how do you think black should play? Pause the video to analyze the position. In order of popularity, black continues with bishop b7, bishop a6, targeting the c-pawn, h6, bishop h4, c5, and c5. After bishop b7, white's most straightforward move is f3, preparing e4, however, black can counter with h6, bishop h4, d5, when going pawn grabbing is very dangerous for white because of black's better development. White has sometimes tried e3, instead, when after h6, bishop h4, d5. c takes d5, e takes d5. Bishop takes f6, queen takes f6, queen takes c7, bishop a6, white has bishop takes a6, knight takes a6, queen b7. A better play for black after e3, is d6, planning knight b, d7 and c5. Instead of playing the main line bishop g5, White can play knight f3, bishop b7, e3, intending to develop the dark squared bishop to b2. Also, instead of playing the main line a3, another possibility is e4, although this is somewhat inconsistent with queen c2, as black might be able to double white's c pawns at some point, something queen c2 was supposed to prevent while guarding e4. Another way to deviate from the main line, instead of playing b6, black can also try knight e4, Queen c2, e5. Black's second option in response to queen c2, is c5, exploiting the fact that on c2, the queen no longer defends the d-pawn. If white defends the pawn, then black gets an easy game by keeping the pressure on d4, so white almost always plays d takes c5. Black can choose to recapture on c5, with the bishop, for example, bishop takes c5, or castle king side. a3. Bishop takes c5, the bishop will eventually retreat to e7, and black will set up a hedgehog formation, pawns on a6, b6, d6, and e6. Or black can choose to recapture on c5, with the knight, after knight a6, or castle king side. Knight f3, knight a6. However, he will often have to give up the bishop pair at some point with bishop takes c3, but the knight is useful on c5, and can later go to e4, attacking the queen on c3. The perp variation, c5, d takes c5, castle king side, was one of the reasons why queen c2 was not popular, because of lines where black eventually recaptures with the knight was considered to give black easy equality, while the line which prevented this maneuver, a3, bishop takes c5, knight f3, knight c6, bishop g5, knight d4, knight takes d4, bishop takes d4, e3, queen a5, e takes d4, Queen takes g5, left the black queen active, while white still needs to secure the king. 
however, the discovery of Queen D2 revived this line for white, because the endgame after 12. Queen takes D2, King takes D2, offers white a slight edge. Black's third option in response to Queen C2 was Mikhail Botvinnik's favorite, D5, another move that strikes immediately in the center. After C takes D5, Black can either recapture with the Queen or Pawn. Recapturing with the Queen, the Remanishing system, runs Queen takes D5, Knight F3, Queen F5, Queen takes F5, E takes F5, strengthening Black's control of E4, and making E6, available for his Bishop. White can avoid this with E3, so that Queen F5, can be met with Bishop D3, but at the cost of blocking in its C1 Bishop. Recapturing with the pawn runs E takes D5, Bishop G5, H6, which tends to be a rather sharp line. Black's fourth option in response to Queen C2, is D5, after A3, Bishop takes C3, Queen takes C3, Knight E4, Queen C2, Black may play C5, or Knight C6, intending E5. Even though White possesses both bishops, Black still strives for a quick opening of the position to exploit his lead in development. Black's fifth option in response to Queen C2, is Knight C6, the Zurich or Milner Barry variation. Black gives up the dark squared bishop, but places his central pawns on D6, and E5, so that his remaining bishop is unimpeded. To avoid moving his queen, White will play bishop D2, at some point so that when Black takes the knight, White can recapture with the bishop. However, knight c6 is old-fashioned, because most players prefer to avoid blocking their c-pawn. This completes our review of the classical variation, also known as Capablanca variation. Thank you for tuning in to BK Academy of Chess, and I hope you enjoyed the video.